Welcome to Scale Modeling Videos. In today's video, I will be showing you how to paint camo. Uh, I will first show you how to paint uh, two-tone camo, as you can see here. I will use uh, one technique to show you how to do this. I will then show you how I take this and make it into this, which is showing you how to do three-tone camouflage. I will use a slightly different technique uh, to do uh, this right here. So in this video, I will show you two different techniques uh, and show you how to paint two-tone camo and then three-tone camo. Radio, let's get started. First, um, we paint the uh, model with the base color. Now, um, I've already done a video on how I've painted this model uh, with a bit of pre-shading, as you can see here. So have a look at that. Have a look at this, the video in the top right-hand corner there. Radio. My go-to for masking uh, when I need to paint camouflage is Clever Putty, okay? This is a great tool to have uh, because uh, once you apply the putty on top of the model, as you're seeing here, uh, it actually seeps into the little nooks and crannies uh, and levels off really nicely, okay? it I don't know how it does that or uh, why it does that, but that's a property that it has, and it really helps when painting camo. So the first thing I want to do is uh, show you guys that you can take large uh, pieces of this putty and camouflage the model as you're seeing here, okay? Um, you don't need to make really small uh, little, um, what's the best word to describe it? Small little um, tubes or uh, pipe-like um, uh, pieces. You just need to... Uh, Place the uh, putty uh, over the model in large pieces, as you're seeing, to mask it off. Now, I combine this with masking tape as well uh, to cover off even larger pieces to uh, make sure that I mask the model properly. Now, because the putty really seeps into the, uh, the model, as you're seeing in the video, it prevents any uh, leakage of paint. Okay, it really prevents that. Now, there are many ways uh, to paint camouflage. This is the method that I uh, use most of the time. I will do uh, videos in the future on how um, I use other methods as well. But for now, this is the method uh, I am going to choose to show you. Radio. Now, this technique can be used on all kinds of model kits. Okay, it can be used on uh, armor kits, as you're seeing here. It can be used on aircraft, on um, um, uh, Gundam on a variety of kits, radio. I will try to show you uh, as much of the masking process as possible. So if you uh, are not interested and if you've seen enough, uh, you can uh, fast forward to another part of the video if you feel like it, radio.
In order to moss the wheel wells, I will use mosking tape. So I have a large mosking tape here. So this is Tamiya 40 millimeter mosking tape, which is really handy if you want to mosk large areas. So I'm going to clearly mosk off all the wheel wells using mosking tape, as you're seeing here. The model is now all masked off, ready to be painted. With the painting, I will first apply light mist coats, and then I will uh, apply heavier coats, as you will see in the video.
There's the second color all painted on top of the model now. And it's time to unmask it. Now with the unmasking of the uh, model, uh, unmasking Clever Putty can be a bit tricky. You need to take uh, large pieces of Clever Putty and then stick them on other pieces of Clever Putty and pull it off, as you can see here, okay? And as the, the piece of putty gets larger and larger, it becomes easier to pull off smaller pieces of putty attached to the model. I hope that makes sense. Once again, I'm going to show you uh, the uh, as much of the unmasking process as I can, so you have an idea of how to unmask uh, Clever Putty combined with masking tape off a, a painted model like this. Here is the model with uh, two-tone camo all painted up now. Now, if you're interested in using a slightly different technique than this one, then continue watching. Or if you're interested in how to paint a three-tone camo, then continue watching. Radio. To paint a three-tone camouflage, I am going to use a slightly different technique. Now, I can use the same technique I just showed you earlier. Okay. And in some parts on this model, I have done that where I have just put on a large pieces of clever putty okay as you can see on the front uh, and uh, parts of the top of this model here however this technique you can use uh, for this technique you can use either clever putty or you can use glue tech or blue tech so we make uh, large rolls of the putty okay uh, or glue tech or blue tech if that's what you have and then you combine that with masking tape to uh, achieve a similar effect as you're seeing in the video here radio so once again you take the piece of putty you roll it out with your hands okay as you see here make a long tube like piece of putty or worm like piece of putty if you wish to call it that uh, apply that in the shape of the camouflage that you want as you're seeing here and then in the gaps in between, uh, uh, place pieces of masking tape. One of the things you need to consider when painting a third color or a three-tone camo is when painting the third color, try to overlap uh, the second color as you're seeing here. I'll point out with the arrow. I have overlapped some of the old color with the um, uh, rolled up putty. Okay, so that way I don't have any gaps between the colors. Radio. Once again, I'm going to show you as much of this uh, process as possible. So if you wish to skip forward, then uh, please feel free to do so. Radio.
The model is now ready for the third color of paint. Radio. From here onwards, I will let the video explain most of the process.
The three-tone camo is now mostly painted. For the final stage, I like to take a paintbrush and fill in any small gaps that I have missed. So I take the appropriate color and paint uh, those gaps in. And that will help me complete uh, the camouflage. I hope you guys liked this video. This was one of the most requested videos uh, for me to do. And like I said before, there are many ways uh, to paint camouflage. And I will probably do another video in the future on a different technique on how to paint camouflage. Uh, and for more videos like this, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, I really appreciate you subscribing and watching my videos.